So what I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to be introducing you all to the um, to the new website. Um, just want to kind of show you some of the features. Uh, we've been working on our new site for uh, almost a year, uh, probably a year uh, in total. Uh, it's been a long time coming for sure. Um, our old website was really something that uh, we put a lot of pride in as well um, and you know the usability of our website but it's you know it's very old school um, but this is our new website a lot of work's gone into this um, all of our in-house web guys have really done a big job on this so I've got a um, <laughs> yeah yeah Chad I see you man I see you and yeah absolutely you can see I'm trying to. So I'm going to go walk through some of the functionality of the new website today and uh, just kind of show you some of the new stuff. So um, our uh, year make model feature, um, our shop by truck feature is one thing that we're proud of. Ours is going to be a little bit different because our website is actually going to be, you're going to notice a difference in ours and some of the big guys um, that are out there, excellent websites like Alligator and XDP. Uh, we're doing a shop by vehicle um, to where uh, it can play into our accessories uh, as well. So not just in the platforms that we've got, which, you know, 94 to 98 uh, Dodges come up as a quick picks. It will actually shop by vehicle and it will take you through several steps. Um, and, you know, just the basics now, but once uh, we start growing into accessories and things, like that, you'll get um, different attributes that'll go in, into that. So, um, so like our shop by vehicle right now, we'll just uh, let's go get a let's go get a pump. Let's get it for a swing year truck here. So, um, and of course, because I've got OBS open, uh, I think everything is frozen. Boys break for me all right so shop by vehicle let's go get a lift pump for a dodge 2004 dodge we'll pick some swing year kind of try to trip it up just a little bit we're going to go here um you can go or you can shop a couple different ways here you can go to the performance pad our performance landing page right now and you can pick whatever you want transmissions turbochargers uh you know nothing new here uh, or you can shop by brands, uh, which works as well. So you can, let's do brands. We'll just pick an air dog lift pump for this truck. Um, go do original air dog. Um, so it comes up. So one of the first things that comes up here is since we picked a swing year truck, you're going to get in our year making model, uh, engine, it's going to come up and it's going to ask you if you want the 305 horsepower, 325 horsepower truck, 04, 04 and a half. So, um, you know, those are the kind of features that we've tried to build into our year making model and try to make it foolproof for customers um, to because we're getting a lot of swing. We get a lot of swing years in the uh, in the different platforms. So, you know, that's one of the the uh, uh, one of the, the big things on that, too. And, uh, you know, a, a note on the website as well, too. Uh, you know, bear with us. There's a lot of stuff right now that we're tweaking on and we're working day and night. Um, to get all of the bugs hashed out. And yes, there are bugs. There are bugs on, on uh, you know, all new things like this, but uh, we're working constantly to get this perfected. So uh, our search feature is one of the most powerful things of our website, which is something on our old website that was really lacking. We actually just used a Google search bar and it worked well for what we needed, but uh, for this is a very, very powerful tool um, on our website. So let's just do BD injectors. Uh, you can see when you do a, uh, a search like that, a lot of th different things are going to come up. You can also view all matches inside of our search feature, uh, which will bring up everything that falls under the category of uh, BD injectors. Um, so you've got that uh, as well. So our search feature is very, very good, um, very powerful. Uh, you should see uh, some, some killer stuff there. Uh, again, it's going to come up on the split year. It's going to ask me to um, to pick the correct truck. So there we are. Uh, then we also have our shop by sections tab. Um, this performance landing tab here. Talked just a little bit more about this. This kind of gives you all of our um, all of our different uh, 
um, sections of the website. Uh, also, if you um, just select anything like fuel systems, uh, you've got different sections that come up inside of the departments. You've got fuel rail plugs, CP3 pumps and accessories, so on and so forth. And these are going to be different for every different attribute that you pick. Um, but those, uh, don't forget the different, uh, on the left-hand side of the website, don't forget the different attributes inside of the um, the departments that uh, that you're looking for. So if you just pick turbos, there'll be turbo accessories and wheels and so on and so forth. And that again, that is another. That's always going to be something that's evolving too. We're always going to be making changes in how that searches. We're going to be taking in all the data of what you guys are putting into the website, what you all are searching by, crunching that data. I'm gonna pull a little bit more of my hair out, go a little bit grayer, and try to perfect it uh, so that you all have the best shopping experience. We have our create an account feature. Uh, our create an account feature is something that we didn't have on our old website either. Uh, you know, m most of the other guys did. We didn't. Uh, we have that now. On the accounts, um, this is, we've got uh, one of our guys is logged in here. He's got some of his personal information, so I'm going to leave that down. But you've got, uh, you've got some different things in here that you can do. You can do a wish list. So you can make an account with us. You can put a product in the account, put it on your wish list. So you can come back and shop at it as a later time, which is really cool. Uh, you've got reminders in here as well. Uh, this reminder right now, you can set this up. Hey, I need to buy fuel filters in, uh, let's say, six months time. You can set that. It'll be a reoccurring thing. It'll call you or it'll send you a reminder, email reminder, and let you know. Uh, you can get your tracking numbers here, your order history, so on and so forth. So. Uh, we're super, super, super excited about that feature as well. So um, that's the new website. It's totally different for us. I it really is. Um, <laughs> I guess that doesn't really that really doesn't do it justice. It's it's a very it's a very big from what we came from on our old website to this. Uh, a lot of pride in this, a lot of work in this, and it is an ever, ever evolving thing. So, uh, cool. Um, you know, I didn't look at some of the questions that we were looking at here because I was trying to drive the website as well uh, now. So, uh, I'll try to go through some of these questions here, and I'm going to click this, and I will probably so screw will everything up in the world when I do it, and I don't know. Cool. All right. Uh, we got... Uh, Ronald Omar, John Bebo says, hello. Hello, John. How are you? Um, yes, yeah, somebody answered Kent Miller's, what is a swing year? So a split year. Sorry about that. I call him uh, uh, swing year. Paul Stewart says, nice site. Thank you, sir. Uh, Corey Beecraft. I saw uh, that you were having problems, Corey. Um, and like I said, again, everything's ever, it's always changing. We're going to perfect it. It'll be good, man. Uh, Trent Shields says TS this weekend. Unfortunately, we will not be at TS, Trent. Uh, you guys be safe down there uh, and have a good time. Bowling Green's a good time. TS is a TS is a good event. Matt Jones just logged on. Matt says, what up? Thank you, Matt, for being on the show with us today. Uh, you are a good American. Um, I don't know who all is watching right now. Colin, Trent, uh, Michael Mudd. Not a whole lot of us on here today. So I'm getting a hell of a good rainstorm here in Kentucky today. We've needed rain it's been a little bit dry, so uh, getting a good rain today, and, and we're thankful for that. But, yeah, um, so this week has been uh, new. We actually ordered, uh, launched a new uh, order management system, which a lot of you guys probably, um, if you work inside of something that's got a, when you've got a computer-based order management system, you know what I'm talking about. But we launched our new order management system and our new website at the same time. Um, it was something that we had to do. Uh, so, you know, it's it's been a very hectic week around here. Kent Miller, uh, will your truck say it? Talking about split year. So, 07 Chevrolets is a good example. 98 Dodges is a, is a good example. Um, you know, there's differentiating fa there's different factors inside of those to know which truck yours is in a swing year. So, let's just take an 04 Dodge for an example. So, an early 04 Dodge, you can look at the motor tag on the Cummins engine, uh, and it will tell you 305 horsepower, the advertised horsepower rating. Uh, or if it's an 04 and a half, if it's a later year, it'll tell you 325 horsepower. That tells you if you've got an early 04 or later 04. 07 Chevrolet, perfect example there, difference in body style. Early 07 Chevrolet's got the old cat eye body style. Uh, later 07 Chevrolet's, the LMM truck's got the new style body style. So that's good. 
98 Dodge, 12 valve, and 24 valve. So that's what we mean when we're talking about a swing year. Anytime that you have a model year truck that can have two different great big time attributes inside the truck that will affect your shopping experience. It would, if you're going to need a different injector or a different lift pump or a different turbocharger or something of that nature, that's what we're trying to pinpoint down. And that's the um, that's why we went with the um, the year make model um, feature on the website because we do have a lot of uh, returns uh, from things like that from customers and it's just we're just trying to make it easy for you um, so yeah you're very welcome Ken uh, what else is going on in the world right now had another school shooting praying for everybody involved in that um, yeah uh, Kentucky lost two of our uh, good guys going to the NBA uh, and then, but we got to keep PJ Washington, which uh, I think I saw a preliminary listing of Kentucky basketball at third ranked in the country. So uh, that's a way, way, way too early. Uh, that's a way, way too early uh, uh, poll. But there you go. Uh, we're all trying to get uh, 455. Heck yes, uh, Paul Stewart. As soon as I start my build, I will let you know. I'm trying to finish up an LB7 Duramax. I'm do, we're doing a test set of injectors in right now. And as soon as I get that the white truck running, my next build is the 455 uh, Yanmar diesel engine. I will keep you guys uh, caught up on the situations. Uh, Kent Miller said, what's a good tuner for an 06 Dodge? It depends on what you want to do with your truck, Kent. Um, there's a lot of good off-the-shelf tuners uh, that you can use. Uh, EFI Live Tuning, which is... Um, several different tuners that 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 use the efi life platform uh you can get a very refined tune with there it's a lot of our off-the-shelf guys edge super chips um uh smarty make excellent tuners for that truck so give us a call we'll be glad to uh walk you through it if you're uh looking for a tuner uh for your truck um Bought a golf cart last week. Um, good friend of mine, uh, Greg, one of our guys here at the shop, he had a golf cart, so I bought one. It's got uh, six dead batteries in it. So this weekend I'm going to spend uh, a stupid amount of money on batteries for a golf cart. Uh, but I guess that's the way it goes. And my buddy Rob that's on the show, he came over and helped me out. We've been uh, we've been swapping a charger back and forth between the two of us, trying to charge his golf cart up. and. Uh, so if you live on uh, mine and Rob's uh, area of Lexington, Kentucky, uh, watch out because I'm trying to talk Rob into taking the uh, golf carts on full road travel. And I I'll be doing it. Rob's a little bit more of a cautious guy than I am, but I for sure will probably be uh, traveling up and down the damn roads. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, the uh, um, talk a little bit about our event as well. Uh, our event's coming up in a couple of weeks, man. Here in Kentucky at Clay City Dragway, we are going to have, uh, we've got all of our rules done. Everybody was asking us about rules and whatnot, and we've been so crazy with the website launch. We finally have got our, our rules done. They're printed up. They're on the website, NHRDA. You can go to NHRDA's website uh, and get info. You can also go to our website and get info. We're going to have drag racing. We're going to have truck point. Jaron Holder will be there, hopefully. Uh, we're going to have uh, show and shine. Uh, burnout contest, all the normal uh, general diesel debauchery. It's a two-day event, so we are going to be camping. Uh, most all of us are going to be camping out there that, that work here. Uh, we invite you guys to come and camp with us and, and have a good time. Trent Burke just uh, joined. Trent is a damn fine American. Uh, glad to have him on the show. Jim Wilcox is on the show. Jim Wilcox uh, is one of the uh, one of our IT guys that did a hell of a job on the website. So big shout out to those guys. They've they've done an awesome awesome job. So yeah, what else have we got going on? Uh, but the show anyway. You can pre register for our show if you want to do the Dino competition. You can do that, or I'm sorry, you can't pre register for the Dino competition. You pay the day of, but you can purchase tickets. Uh, I think that those are on NHRDA's website. Adam can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think we're taking purchases from, for the tickets over our website yet. I think it's all through NHRDA.com. So we definitely suggest that you come out and spend both days with us. It will be, uh, this is our first year for it. So there's going to be some things that are going to be new for us as well. But if it's something that we're going to be involved in, I promise you it's going to be a family atmosphere and we're going to we're going to do our best to make it a great experience for everybody that's there. So, uh, 
myself and all of our sales guys are going to be there. If you're a small shop and you're looking to maybe open a B2B account with us, we would love to talk with you. Come by, shake our hand. I'll introduce you to our B2B guys. Uh, maybe be able to get you set up on uh, some of the small business account stuff. So if you're a shop, you're tinkering around, stuff like that, something we can do to help you out. Even if you don't buy stuff from us, you've got some questions, we'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. Uh, just hang out and, and, and have a good time with us. So yeah, Jerry, you made the you made the front page, man. You made the front page. So um, I'll be honest with you. I think that's about it for me. Uh, I, when we first fired this up, we're having a hell of a uh, a hell of a thunderstorm here. So I thought while I'm showing you guys the new website, I guarantee you the internet's going to go down. But thank the good Lord that it didn't, and we got through. Um, we got through the uh, little walkthrough on the website. I know a lot of guys. It's different for you. I'm going to close with this. I know it's the way this website functions is a lot different from what our old website was. Um, this type of growth is a needed uh, thing. It's a lot different. I understand that. But bear with us. It's going to be a good thing. It is going to be much easier for you all to shop the website this way and the way that we've got laid out as, as to what our old uh, website was. If you've got any suggestions for us, We'd love to hear them. Constructive criticism would be great. So thank you for watching today. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, Dylan Tibbs said, do you have to buy tickets online or can I buy them at the gates? I think you can buy them at the gates, Dylan, if you want to. Or you can go to nhrda.com and you can purchase the tickets there as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you, guys. Try to be a good American. Uh, have a good weekend this weekend. Uh, and if you need anything, give us a call. Uh, and appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.